Uh, good morning, folks, and uh, to Mayor Jemison, President uh, Jim. Uh, now, we, we know that this project or the uh, project to start the Brothers Junior started a few years back now, uh, and uh, I'm advised by reliable sources that have had a few people involved in that, Paul uh, Casely, John Graven, and, of course, Clayton Williams. And uh, Clayton, although the Mayor says he's a bit of a jockey, I think Clayton's a bit of a jack-of-all-trades, really, uh, in terms of uh, uh, getting this project uh, up and running and open for tomorrow. Uh, I nearly didn't make it today. I just addressed the Toowoomba Chamber of Commerce at a breakfast. Got there at midnight last night following Parliament rising at 10.30, and, uh, but the traffic did as well on the way here. Uh, some of the roads are still beaten up with the, the floods we had a couple of years ago, but uh, it's great to be here. Uh, it's actually great to be in the electorate uh, in something that I've been, you know, watched come from out of the ground. Uh, and I remember uh, getting the letter from the former minister uh, that the brothers received the $300,000 grant for this project. Uh, and just down the road there, they've just started yesterday, uh, the Junior Park Eagles also got a grant. And I think what really that epitomises is uh, this community. And if you look behind me on the plaque here, you know, it doesn't say Brothers Club, it says Brothers Community Facility. And I think that really epitomises what this is all about. If you look at this facility, the Stockland Stadium, the new facility going down there, the plans for the hospital and the projects and the precinct, really, folks, we're in a sporting, recreation and health hub uh, that will really drive, I think, the local community for the years to come. So I thank the uh, the three gentlemen. I'm also told that uh, John Connolly, who I see standing suspiciously uh, over there, uh, for you all know John Connolly. Uh, I'm told that he played some role, but he, he you know, he, he says he's just sort of a, 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 a back role, nothing too major. But John, I know that uh, all you're involved in, uh, people do appreciate and respect you immensely, uh, and for the support and encouragement. Uh, you give to particularly young people to get them in the game and get them in the sport. And it's uh, encouraging that I think the government will be starting their new policy of getting the game where it really is trying to attract young people uh, who may have lost not interest in sport but with the financial difficulties they're in at the moment may have taken a step back uh, because unfortunately a lot of people in their homes when they're tightening their budgets, uh, a lot of the first things to go is recreation and sport. So we're really wanting to encourage and uh, this is through the voucher system, to get kids, getting them in the game and getting kids playing and, and signing back up. So we look forward to when that's, uh, when that's coming, uh, coming in. You can talk to Steve White about that uh, for the dates and so forth. Uh, that, that, that's great because we've got a great local school right next door. And I acknowledge Ruth Murray, the principal of the uh, junior campus uh, of the Kiwata State College. And this campus here in this school has come a long way in a few years in terms of sharing facilities, halls that they've got now, uh, but also the role they want to play in the Kiwana community uh, into the future. Um, I thank the Shadfall family, who, as Mayor Jemison said, are out in force today for the role they played and the support that they gave. We know that they would have given uh, because of the family they are, a lot of pro bono support uh, to get this off the ground. Uh, so, you know, it's been many people, not only the community, but the Shadfalls, the council, uh, the state for their contribution of $300,000. And uh, I'm reminded uh, that uh, the Premier always wants us in our speeches when we're opening things to recognise the engineers. Uh, he's biased, of course, uh, but he always wants us to recognise the engineers and occasionally lawyers that may have drafted contracts, but I hope we didn't go, didn't go that severe in this case. Uh, but the Premier uh, in his local area has the GPS uh, club and uh, he was, uh, they, they played uh, the Stingrays recently and we fortunately lost, but, uh, and the Premier reminded me of that, but he did, he does have a cap, he always wears a cap around his electorate with the GPS rugby uh, on it, so uh, I didn't have a cap, uh, I don't have a junior cap, but I did get from the Stingrays the other day a jersey, so I'm now an official uh, Stingray supporter with a jersey. But anyway folks, uh, thank you for coming today uh, and the support that you've given in, and really getting this project up and running at, at, at a great speed. I think people driving past Nicola Way would have seen it, sort of the footings go in, they're really coming up out of the ground out of nowhere. Uh, and uh, what this will do for other groups who use these sporting facilities in, in conjunction with the brothers, I think, is just sort of uh, 
measurable community asset that we've got now. So I think all participants, both the financial participants, but the people who support the mums and dads uh, who send their kids uh, to the to the club as well, because that's really what drives it. And you only, you've only seen in the last couple of years when the club started from 65 members to 185, uh, it is now. So congratulations to all involved and the president. I wish you all the best uh, for uh, the continuation of this great club uh, and uh, getting more and more young people involved in sport because it benefits everyone in our community for doing that. So thank you all.